Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So today we have another Battle of the Brands 15 hour wear test. Today we are going to be trying the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation versus the Huda Beauty Hashtag Full Filter Foundations. Both of these foundations say that they are long wearing, high pigment, and that they both dry down to a powder matte finish. So we're gonna see which one is gonna win out, the $6 foundation versus the $40 foundation. Before we do jump right in, do not forget to subscribe down below, hit the subscribe button and join the fam. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to click the notification bell. It does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the footage you are seeing. Anyways, let's jump right in. Okay, so to start off with, I'm gonna go in with a bit of Milk of Magnesia just on the center, right on my nose, cause neither of these will hold up around there. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'm going to be going in with this on the rest of my face. Just gonna take a few pumps, just cause I think it's better to just have the same primer for the rest of the face. Huda Beauty Foundation just come with a primer, but I don't think it would be fair to use that today. The foundations we are trying out today are the Huda Beauty Foundation, okay as well as the new la colors truly matte long wearing high pigment foundations which are these the reason why i decided to go with these two is because this is supposed to be a high pigment foundation which means like less is more and this here is also a, a full coverage high pigment foundation as well so i thought it would be good to see you know on the drugstore side versus on the higher end side which of these two would perform better i'm going to be wearing the la colors foundation on my left side and the huda beauty foundation on my right side in the huda beauty foundation i have the shade 520 g nutmeg and then in the la colors foundation i got the two darkest shades which were cappuccino and mahogany mahogany being darker than cappuccino however their shade selection isn't very diverse to be honest and this definitely does not look like no no mahogany like a mahogany would be darker than this you know what i'm saying so <sighs> there are a total of 14 shades and there really are only like three or four shades maybe for like darker, darker skin tones. And honestly, this is actually, you know, stuff like this actually makes me really mad. So this is what cappuccino, this is what mahogany looks like in real life, right? This is the color that mahogany is reading. But then on their website, look at how dark they made it. Like, does that look, that doesn't even look like anything close to being the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, that stuff, Stuff like that really makes me angry because it's it's deceiving, especially if you are trying to buy a foundation online. You should make, make sure that the foundation is reading as true to color as you possibly can. Don't lie to people and make it look five shades darker. Like fam, that's, that's deceptive. This foundation is $6. And the, the way this foundation is described, it's described as a long wearing high pigment formula that applies as a liquid and blends to a beautiful matte powder like finish. It's available in 14 shades to complement a wide range of skin tones. It's not it's not accommodating a wide range of skin tones. We'll just leave it at that. I the fact that it does say that it blends to a powder like finish is so interesting because on the higher end side, Huda Beauty also describes this as blending into a powder matte finish. So that is so interesting that you have this for six dollars, yet this for forty dollars. This is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. It does come in thirty shades. It is described as a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter like finish it's supposed to smooth and even skin texture diminish the appearance of blemishes scars hyperpigmentation and redness and it comes with a fade proof formula that blends seamlessly with skin leaving it matte with a hint of sheen for luminous appearance we're just gonna go right on ahead i'm going to start with the huda beauty foundation and a clean 
damp beauty sponge on my right side. So I'm gonna be going in at the back of my hand. Okay. See what the foundation looks like. Just gonna be going in with one pump. And I'm gonna dot it on the right side of my face. And I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender and just start blending this in. So this 520G is the color of my, like my uh, chest shade versus my actual face shade. My face is darker than my body, slightly darker. So next we're gonna go in with the LA colors on my other side of my face. Cappuccino has more golden yellow undertones, while um, mahogany has more red, uh, rich red undertones. You can see it's a brand new foundation. The pump is, oh, it's about to come out. And there we go. Golden yellow tones, and that's what it's. Wow. Okay, both of these foundations have a smell, okay? This one smells like old grandma, and this smells like straight up paint. So I'm going in with mahogany now to kind of see. Both of these foundations are just too light. Mahogany is a just a touch darker, to be honest. And then I'm going in with a clean beauty blender and just a dab. Oh, oh Lord, I'm scared. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, this is so light. So it looks like there isn't even a shade for me in this ring. Um, I am gonna dark, obviously I'll darken it up with like concealer and contour, but I will say it is definitely full coverage. Definitely just as full coverage as the Huda Beauty Foundation. However, I cannot get over the smell. This foundation does not smell good at all. Okay, so. I am going to go and apply concealer and the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back. So I went in with a little bit of the ABH Clear Brow Gel. I wanted to try that out today to kind of see how that works. On my eyes today, I'm just going to be going in with the ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow in Millionaire. It's like this really pretty gold. This is my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow, especially for darker skin tones. It's just, just such a really beautiful gold shade. It makes for a really quick eyeshadow look. You just slap it on your eye, maybe add a little um, bronzer in your crease and you're done. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, um, I'm already holding it, so this is my mirror. My, A um, what the hell is that? The Kim Kardashian West Beauty Bronzer number two, I think. This is number two, powder two. And I'm just gonna add some warmth into my crease. I'm just gonna drag the same color underneath the lash line for continuity. For mascara today, I'm going in with the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And after this, I'm just gonna pop, up some pop on some lashes. I'm really wiggling the brush along my lash line, my lower lash line, um, to kind of add a bit of a smoky effect. This is an easy way to um, smoke out your lower lash line without going in with too many shadows. And there, you have a smoked out lash line without, without much work. Just warming up my face a little bit with um, some ebony bronzer. Okay, so lashes are on for the most part. I'm going to be going in with Max Raisin Blush on my cheeks. For highlighters today, I'm going to be mixing the um, Kim Kardashian West Beauty Highlighter 1 with Fenty Moscow Mule. I'm 
going in with the NYX lip liner in dark brown. Just gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna top it off with my YSL lipstick in uh, the Rouge Volupe Shine lipstick in beige blouse. Spritz everything down with some Fix Plus. This is the travel size version. I just like having this um, versus the larger one actually. <laughs> Okay, so this is the final look for the day. Um, we are going to be doing a wear test of these foundations, so we are going to be checking in throughout the day to kind of see how the foundations are wearing. And then we're going to come back at the end of the day um, to kind of, you know, go do a final judgment on which foundation is worth the money. So let's get on. Yeah, Abigail, which side of my face do you think looks better? The left side um, or the right side? I, I don't know. I feel like they both look the same. You think they both look the same? Okay, so she thinks seamless, she thinks they both look seamless right now. So we'll give we'll I we'll leave. If we'll, I had to pick a side, I'd pick your right side. My right side. Okay, yeah. so she thinks the right side looks better. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Which side of my face do you think looks better? I like the left side. You like the left side? Mm -hmm. Also, read a blending game is. It's on point, right? <laughs> My blending game is seamless. on point. <laughs> okay, so we got one vote for the left side and one vote for the right side. So the left side of my face is the $6 foundation, and then the right side of my face is the $40 foundation. You like the right side now? No, it, okay. it wasn't your right side. No, that was your left side, right? Is that your left side? This is my right. You say you like this side. Mm -hmm. This is my right side. Oh, oh so, okay, so they both like the Huda Beauty side versus... <laughs> versus the other side. Sasha. And I want you to tell me which side you think looks better right now. I don't know, they look the same. They do not look the same. This side. This side looks better? Yeah. So she said the Huda Beauty side looks better. Okay, so yes, it's now been 15 hours since I first put on the foundations. And I have to say, both of them did hold up pretty well. However, I actually think the LA colors won out on this. My This side of my face is definitely a lot more matte than the Huda Beauty side. Um, so I will say that the LA colors foundation does hold up more matte. However, in terms of the finish... Oh, move this teddy bear. <laughs> in terms of the finish, I will say that I feel like the Huda Beauty does look better overall um shade match wise and in terms of oxidation the la colors definitely oxidizes so it turned a lot warmer and um uh, more red by the end of the day but it's still a good foundation i will just say that i wish there was more shades because even with mixing the mahogany and what was the other shade the other shade i can't remember I'll still was not able to come up with my right shade it was way it's still way too light okay guys that is the end of this video let me know what you think down in the comment section below will you be giving the la colors truly matte uh long wearing high pigment foundation a chance the six dollar foundation or are you gonna try out the Huda Beauty Foundation? I really do appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. Do not forget, you can check out a few of my other videos right here. I will leave them right here. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.